Raghukul or the Raghuvanshis of the Sola dynasty are often known for their righteous nature, the most famous of them all being Sri Ram, who is also an incarnation of Vishnu. But there were many other rulers from this dynasty who were highly virtuous, one of them being Raja Harish Chandra, an ancestor of Sri Ram. King Harish Chandra lived in the Treta Yuga and is still date known for his honesty, truthfulness and righteousness. During his time as the ruler of the kingdom, there was happiness and prosperity in all of the land. Once the king was out in the forest hunting a deer when he heard a woman screaming. He began chasing the source of the voice, which was in fact an illusion created by Vignaraj, the lord of obstacles. Vignaraj was out there in the forest trying to distract sage Vishwamitra from his strong and immense penance. Upon seeing the king standing right there, Vignaraj possesses Harishandra's body and began cursing the sage while he was in deep meditation. Due to all the hindrances and distraction, sage Vishwamitra eventually broke out of his meditation and all the knowledge, learning and powers that he had gained through his tapasya were lost. Vishwamitra was filled with rage and anger but through his powers realized that it was not Harishandra who distracted him but Vignaraj who had possessed the king. Suddenly the king came back to his senses and realized the blunder he had caused under the influence of Vignaraj. He began apologizing to Vishwamitra. Sage Vishwamitra forgave the king but as a Brahman he required the king of his land to grant his wishes now that all his powers and learnings were lost. Harishandra took it upon himself to serve the sage and promised him to fulfill all his desires even at the cost of his own life. The sage said that he would need a donation from the king to fulfill his Rajasuya Yagya. As a donation for the Yagya, he demanded everything that Harishandra owned except his own body, his wife and his son. The king happily gave away his kingdom, his forces and everything he had to sage Vishwamitra as a donation. Vishwamitra also demanded for him to leave his kingdom as the land no longer belonged to him. Raja Harishchandra with his wife and son began walking away from the kingdom when the sage Vishwamitra stopped him. He asked the king for a second donation for the Yagya, but this time the king had nothing to offer. He requested the sage for a month's time and promised that he would arrange for another donation in that time. Vishwamitra agreed to the king and blessed him on his journey forward. The citizens of the land began lamenting over their former king's departure. The king was overwhelmed by the love and emotions of his people that he stopped midway to console them before leaving. Seeing this, Vishwamitra got furious and with a metal rod began beating the king and his family to leave sooner. Vishwadevas, the guardians of the directions, saw this horrific sight and condemned the action of Vishwamitra. Hearing the criticism, an enraged Vishwamitra cursed the Vishwadevas to take birth as humans. It is said that the five Vishwadevas were born as the Upapandavas, the five sons of Draupadi, who were killed in their sleep after the Mahabharata war. After a month, the king with his wife and son reached the holy city of Varnasi. As he entered the city, he saw sage Vishwamitra standing there to remind him of his pending donation for the Rajasoya Yagya. The sage reminded him that his last day was today and he did not have much time left. The king said that he still had half of the day left and convinced the sage to wait for a few more hours. The sage agreed but on the condition that if the king is unable to pay his donation, he will be cursed by the end of the day. Harishandra was clueless and helpless and did not know how to arrange for the donation. Meanwhile, his wife suggested him to sell her for some money and save himself from the curse. Harishandra could not imagine doing such a thing and fell to the ground, deprived of consciousness. Again, Vishwamitra came there and reminded Harishandra of his promise and warned him about the consequences of not fulfilling his promise. This time, Harishandra had no option but to agree to his wife's suggestion. He sold his wife, Shavya, 
for some money to an old man who bought her as a maid servant upon seeing his mother go away rohitashwa began crying unable to separate from her child shaivya asked her owner to also buy her son so she could be with him and take care of him the kind owner agreed to her offer and bought her son for some extra money harish chandra took this money and politely donated to the sage however this was not enough for the sage he demanded for more he told harish chandra that a fourth of the day still remained and he will wait till then dharmaraj who was the deity of virtue came to the place disguised as chandal and offered a job to harish chandra for any amount the sage demanded a chandal is a person who deals with the disposal of corpses the king refused to work under him but the sage was unhappy with his decision harish chandra suggested that he would work for the sage instead if that would make him happy vishwamitra thought for a second and agreed to make harish chandra his servant as his first work he was asked to work under the chandal the chandal used harish chandra as an employee at his cremation ground his job was to strip the clothes off the corpses at the cremation ground he was ordered by the chandal to take fees for every single body being cremated there no one should be given an exception and the fee must be collected from everyone coming there because a part of the fees goes to the king and other part goes to the chandal and the remaining is hari chandra's own commission eventually hari chandra began working and living in the cremation ground one day his wife came up to the cremation ground wailing with her dead son who died due to a snake bite both began mourning over their dead son hari chandra even began contemplating killing himself as he could not fulfill the duties of a husband or a father but then he realized that if he does so without the permission of his master he would have to bear the consequences of it in his next birth his wife therefore began to get things ready to cremate her dead son's body but hari chandra told her that he would not let her do so without paying the fee suddenly lord indra appeared and pleased with the king restored his son's life at that time all the deities appeared led by the dharmaraj and accompanied by vishwamitra they praised hari chandra for his good qualities like forgiveness self control truthfulness and invited him to heaven but hari chandra refused to go to heaven without the permission of his master chandal dharmaraj then reveals to the king that he himself assumed the form of a chandal to test the king the king again refused to go to the heaven without the people of his kingdom who lamented over his departure and are equal sharers of his merits he requested indra to allow the people of his kingdom to accompany him to heaven at least for one day indra accepted his request after that hari chandra along with his people ascends to heaven after his departure to heaven vashishta the sage or the kul guru of hari chandra's royal dynasty ended his tapasya of 12 years he came to know about the unfortunate events that had happened to hari chandra during these years he started a severe fight with vishwamitra but was ultimately pacified by brahma brahma explained to him that vishwamitra was only testing the king and had actually helped him ascend to heaven